Jay Quellen. No Jay Quellen here? Balake. Where is Balake at? A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron is right here, everyone. Thank you for joining me again. Hope you're all having a fantastic Monday. And welcome back to the channel. Guys, I've got this story, the biggest story that no one's talking about. No one in the mainstream media, that is. And I touched on this in a video that I did yesterday about Paul Haggis, but it deserves its own treatment. This is about Scientology blackmailing Tom Cruise's legendary publicist, Pat Kingsley. Pat Kingsley was one of the most feared, respected, revered publicists in all of Hollywood. He represented Tom Cruise for a very long time. In fact, it was Pat Kingsley who was responsible for getting Tom Cruise to shut the heck up about Scientology for most of his career. And Tom Cruise and David Miscavige were growing very wary of Pat Kingsley being so effective in getting Tom to not talk about Scientology that they decided to put together a blackmail file on Pat Kingsley to get her to either get with the program or jump ship, and they succeeded. All this has come up because in the Paul Haggis trial, there's a former Scientologist named Shauna Brakefield who used to work for the Screen Actors Guild, and she is testifying that back in 2009 or 10, after she had already left uh, SAG, Tommy Davis called her asking her to break in or to get someone to illegally go through Paul Haggis' SAG files and get any dirt that was in there. And in the deposition that Shauna Brakefield, uh, you know, subjected herself to or whatever, underwent, uh, she, uh, she's asked the question, how did, you, how did you really get a sense that Tommy Davis, that his intentions here were, were not pure? And she goes... Well, because back in 2004, Tommy had shown me the blackmail file that he had put together on uh, Pat Kingsley and was bragging about how they had succeeded in putting all this together and they had the goods on her. So I already knew that this was something that Tommy Davis and David Miscavige and Scientology do to people. So I wasn't wondering why they wanted all of the dirt from Paul Haggis's union files. So there was a story about this yesterday at the Underground Bunker. I'm just gonna read you directly from some of what was reported here. So uh, in, in Leah Remini's book, uh, Troublemaker, that she wrote in 2015, there was a chapter that had this information in it that she left out of the book, but she gave a copy of that chapter to Tony Ortega to write an article about. He's referencing all of that here. So Tony says, in one incident, Shauna told Leah that while she was working at the Screen Actors Guild, Davis had showed up one day in 2004 boasting about a dirt file of incriminating material he had put together about Tom Cruise's legendary publicist, Pat Kingsley. With that dossier of blackmail material, Scientology was planning to push Kingsley out if she didn't let Cruise speak up more about Scientology itself. And later in 2004, that is exactly what happened. Kingsley was dropped by Cruz, and the Top Gun actor hired his own sister as his publicist, and early in 2005 began a disastrous few months as Scientology's very visible ambassador. Now here are some direct excerpts from the deposition uh, as given by Shauna Brakefield. It says, and did you provide the information that Tom Davis asked you for? Uh, no. Why not? Well, it was ludicrous. I mean, it was clearly an intent to gather information to use against Paul Haggis. Paul is a friend. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to risk my career doing anything like that, and I wasn't going to do anything illegal. Was this the first time that Tommy Davis ever called you to ask you for dirt on an individual? Yes. To your knowledge, did Tommy Davis ever participate in a campaign on behalf of Scientology against another individual? I was aware of Tommy Davis participating in gathering of negative information about someone else. Yes. And how are you aware of that? He shared a dossier with me. And what did you notice? What do you recall was in that dossier? Personal and private information, financial information. He was telling me personal details about the person's romantic life, family, details about their family and purchases they had made, things like that. And what was your reaction to seeing this dossier? Disgusted. Why? Because it was just not, on so many levels, it just had a lot of layers to it for me. I didn't want to think that my church was doing those kinds of things. Um, I was, quite frankly, I was more shocked than anything else, and it felt slimy and dirty, and it felt gross. And it was just, it felt fully and totally inappropriate, because it was very personal information. I'm sure this person would not want others to have. And when you say he was bragging about it, what was he bragging about? That they were able to obtain it. Do you know what happened to the person that the dossier was about? She was ultimately fired from a position that she had. And it was a high-profile position. 
Yes. And you would classify this person who the dossier was about as an enemy of Scientology? Are you aware of whether the church had a view on whether this person was an enemy of the Church of Scientology? I believe they viewed her as an enemy. And when Mr. Davis was bragging, did he say anything about whether he used this to ruin the career of this individual? Not that specific of a statement, but sort of along the lines of, we've got her. This event where Mr. Davis showed you the dossier, did that happen before he called you asking for Paul Haggis' SAG files? Yes. Do you recall how far before it happened? It was around March of 2004, and so it's been about five or six years of difference. So you'll notice that in this deposition, she does not say the words, the names Pat Kingsley or Tom Cruise. That's why it's very relevant for Tony to have filled in the context earlier on from the chapter of Leah's book uh, that was not published. This should be flaming front page headline news in every publication in Hollywood. Yes, this occurred back in 2004. Yes, this has already been written up previously on the Underground Bunker blog, but it has never been disclosed in this way, in this detail, in a deposition for a lawsuit. And this deposition is not old. This definition is uh, this deposition is very recent because it was for the Paul Haggis civil trial that is presently ongoing in New York City. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that Scientology never actually ended up having to use this file. And I even have a sneaking suspicion that this is something that would have been done without Tom Cruise's knowledge, kind of a la what happened with Steven Spielberg and Kate Capshaw when Tom found out that their, uh, you know, one of their children was seeing a therapist during War of the Worlds. Tom found out that one of Steven's children was seeing a therapist and Tom passed this information along to David Miscavige and Miscavige arranged for Scientologists to perform a picket outside of the therapist's office that Spielberg's child was attending and Spielberg's wife, Kate Capshaw, showed up to drop the child off for an appointment and saw a bunch of protesters picketing outside the office. Spielberg hit the roof, uh, spoke to Tom about it, said, you're out of your mind. What are you doing? We didn't ask you to do this. This is inappropriate. I suspect this is part of the reason Spielberg doesn't work with Cruz anymore. I sort of think that's what happened here. Tom was getting ready to let Pat Kingsley go, and Miscavige was probably going, you know what, just in case Pat tries to give Tom a hard time or threatens to, um, you know, threatens Tom, like, you're not going to fire me. If you fire me, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Let's have something ready to go. Let's have a blackmail file ready on her. Because you can find an interview with Pat Kingsley from back in 2013 where she actually tells the story of how Tom broke the news to her that he was letting her go after all these years. And I don't think Pat Kingsley would put this story out nine years after the fact and tell a sanitized version of it just to protect Tom. I think Pat's version of the story is believable. And yet here we have a Tommy Davis going through all this trouble to put together a giant blackmail file on her. I suspect the file was never used. The fact that Scientology even had one prepared should be, in my opinion, Front page headline news. Now that it's being uh, now that it's being disclosed in a deposition. I mean, even the fact I, this story even just illustrates highlights the fact that Scientology David Miscavige uses the tax exempt resources of this organization for the personal and private benefit of a member like Tom Cruise. I mean, also you have the fact that these tax exempt organizations are being used. On, on private investigators and lawyers and thugs uh, to, to, to uh, condone, um, to elicit illegal activity, illegal activity to destroy its enemies. I mean, that, that alone, even though the story is dated, that alone is reason for this information to be news right now, today. This is the kind of stuff Scientology is still doing today. And when Scientology finally does get prosecuted and its tax exempt status does get revoked, I think it won't be for uh, this type of thing using funds in this way. I think it will be for the uh, chronic, long-term, and systemic 
credit card fraud, bank fraud, wire fraud. I think that will be what gets Scientology taken down or, you know, i.e. gets their tax exempt status revoked. It won't be stuff like this, but stuff like this gets people's attention. Stuff like this, the media cares about. And sometimes in a wag the dog type way, it takes media action to force governmental action or law enforcement action. So anyway, that's my two cents. That's what I've got on this. Just wanted to highlight, put a spotlight on this particular story. Scientology blackmailing the most powerful publicist in Hollywood on behalf of Tom Cruise. Just incredible. All right, everyone, that's all I've got on this for now. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you to everyone who watches until the very end, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see a, a different one of my videos, uh, oh, yeah, then you could click right inside here. If you have six or not, subscribe.